Hello everyone, this is meteorologist John Keyes with the latest on your forecast up through the eclipse. Unfortunately, the fire concern is rapidly increasing across the area, especially tomorrow as we get some pretty dry air in and increase in wind speeds across the area. Still looks like we won't see much in the way of showers and thunderstorms until Sunday afternoon, and that continues into Monday, unfortunately. Right now, only an isolated shower or thunderstorm possible. I think the bigger threat to viewing of the eclipse is going to be the increase in clouds, mid and high level clouds. Will everyone see clouds? I don't think so at this point, so you may be looking at some last minute maneuvering to try to get that best view of the eclipse. The big swing in temperatures from morning to afternoon will continue. More areas in the lower elevations pushing 85 to 90 this afternoon. Still 60s and 70s up in the high country. Tomorrow just a little bit warmer, even a little bit warmer in the morning, but still the potential if you're going to be in the mid and upper elevation areas, especially some of the valleys where the temperatures tend to be a little bit cooler at night. We're going to be into the 30s, maybe at or just below freezing for a couple of hours, and that trend will continue all the way into the weekend. Afternoon highs, not much of a difference, maybe just a skosh cooler simply because of an increase in cloud cover and similar conditions heading into Monday. Tuesday, not much cloud cover expected if you've got events going on or if you're sticking around personally, but still cool overnight temperatures, warmer in the afternoon. The increasing fire concern starts today. You look over here on the right-hand side, you'll notice plenty of reds. The deeper reds are 10 to 20 percent humidities. Up in the higher country, you can see humidities running in the 20 to 25 percent range for this afternoon. Wind gusts in most areas running 15 to 25 miles per hour. A few pockets across the Snake Plains, some of the adjacent highlands, and also some of the higher ridges running around 25 to 35 mile an hour gusts. It's enough to, if you get a fire going, we could easily see it spreading across the area but the potential is going to be higher for tomorrow and that's simply because we have stronger winds winds gusting 25 to 35 miles per hour the only reason we're highlighting most of the central mountains for now is because of the fuels that are there that would get the fire started we're talking about the grass and the timber it's the highest risk areas in the central mountains that's not necessarily including most of the stanley basin into the wood river valley but once you get into the chalice the salmon chalice forest on up into the salmon area limhi county area that's where the greater risk will be for tomorrow elsewhere fuels are a little bit more moist that's kind of a misnomer in the fact that with just the rain for the past few days, the fuels aren't drying out as quickly. But the potential is even in these other areas for a fire to get off and to spread quickly with the winds for tomorrow afternoon across the area. Taking a look at what we're really looking forward to is the potential for clouds and any thunderstorms or showers heading into Monday. Sunday afternoon there are some going to be some clouds across the area including some high clouds. The high clouds aren't necessarily well depicted here but there will be a mix of high and mid-level clouds across the area. That trend continues into Sunday night and Monday morning. Here we are at 6 a.m. Where you see the brighter whites that's where we're going to have a little better chance of seeing a mix of mid and high level clouds. Any real chance of showers will be down closer to the uh, Utah border, but that doesn't mean farther to the north we couldn't get a stray shower or storm going in the morning hours. We'll see the clouds diminishing just a bit. It's that typical morning to afternoon. Clouds tend to thin out a little bit, then pick back up in the afternoon when we're talking about the afternoon cumulus and the thunderstorm activity developing. But like we said, there's going to be some higher clouds not showing up very well here on our satellite depiction. Those higher clouds could certainly hamper the viewing of the eclipse. For the latest weather information, go to weather.gov slash Pocatello, or you can follow us on social media at NWS Pocatello. That's Facebook, Twitter, and also YouTube.